Harry's daughter was murdered four years ago. Some scumbag drugged her, raped her, and left her to die in a ditch. Harry is introduced in the movie as a college wrestling coach. Before he became a wrestling coach, Harry served in the United States military. He makes the decision to teach wrestling to students in order to stay busy. One evening, when Harry gets home, he unexpectedly gets a call from Detective Jones telling him that his teenage daughter Jane is in the hospital in a coma. Her boyfriend had beaten her. Hearing this news breaks Harry's heart. He can't believe his daughter has been a victim of abuse. Harry rushes to the hospital to visit the unconscious Jane. As her condition worsens, he sits by her bedside and looks at her. Shortly after, Jones comes up to Harry to tell him about the arrest of Jane's boyfriend, who has admitted to all of his wrongdoings. Jane's boyfriend acknowledges during the interrogation that he initially attempted to have a personal relationship with her. But when she rejected him, he became enraged and attacked her without realizing that this would put Jane in an institution and put her in a coma. Harry wants Jones to give Jane's boyfriend the harshest punishment imaginable in light of the investigation's conclusions. If the police don't come, Harry will deal with the man directly. Doctors and nurses race to save Jane's life as her condition deteriorates shortly after Jones departs. Harry, meanwhile, can only observe the happenings in silence. Jane passes away tragically, making Harry sad. Harry attends Jane's death trial a few days later. Following a protracted trial, the judge sentences Jane's assailant to life in prison. This gives Harry some comfort because although it does not bring Jane back, it is what he wanted. Harry tries to move on with his life after the trial, but he is unable to deal with the loss of his daughter. He spends his evenings drinking and often looks at pictures of Jane. In an attempt to calm Jones down, Harry tells him he's fine and thanks him for helping with Jane's case when Jones calls to see how he's doing. Jones tells Harry to call him if he needs anything before hanging up. Harry went to the movies the following evening in an attempt to escape his grief, but a young man who was harassing his female friend interrupted his fun. After growing agitated, Harry reprimanded the young man and even threw popcorn at him. The young man approached Harry outside after the film. All Harry said was that if he wanted to flirt with his female companion, he should go find someone else. This incensed the young man, who produced a knife. But Harry, a former soldier turned wrestling instructor, easily defeated him. Harry went back to coaching wrestling the following day. He focused on teaching Katia, his favorite pupil, and providing her with direction and encouragement. If she wanted to get even better, he even offered to take additional classes. Harry took all of these actions because he recognized his late daughter Jane and Katya and felt that she had his face. Katya left her wrestling class later that night and headed home. Nevertheless, the fact that she hadn't brought him any food infuriated her stepfather Tom. Feeling angry, Katya withdrew to her room to avoid a confrontation. Tom lost his temper at her slamming the door and called her rude. He gave her a slap and told her to go because he thought she was usually disobedient. Tom's actions infuriated Katya, who retaliated by striking him. Thankfully, her mother Linda broke up the altercation. Despite Linda's entreaties, Katya decided to leave because she was fed up with Tom's abuse and felt unloved as her daughter. Katya by herself at a bus stop while he was driving home. He stopped and invited her to have a conversation in his vehicle. He went with her to a restaurant where she opened up to him about how her stepfather had treated her badly and frequently chastised her, which is why she had chosen to leave home after Tom had thrown her out. Harry told her that Linda would be worried about her and urged her to go back home. Harry further pledged to speak with Tom. Harry acknowledges that he did all of this because he refused to lose someone he loved about twice and considered Katya to be his own daughter. Harry led Katya home quickly after she agreed to follow his advice after hearing it. Harry resumed his role as wrestling coach the next day, but then he noticed a bruise on Katya's face and discovered that Tom had mistreated her once more. He went to Katya's house after class to confront Tom. He gave Katya some cash when he got there so she could buy food and talk to Tom about how he was treating her. Harry then pleaded with Tom to give Katya better care because it was having an adverse effect on her mental state. He threatened to report Tom to the police for child abuse if he didn't stop, but Tom seemed unconcerned and warned Harry not to meddle in other people's business. Harry became enraged by this and wrenched Tom's arm. Shortly afterward, Katya came back with the meal and Harry told her to give it to Tom, who was feeling uneasy. Harry stood up for her and threw the food at Tom's broken arm, which relieved Katya. Tom had filed a case against Harry, and the next day, while coaching wrestling, Harry received a call from the police. Harry encountered Jones at the station, who expressed surprise at Harry's assault on Tom. 
Harry told Jones the specifics of Katia's abuse and acknowledged to the act. Jones told Harry to keep quiet while he conducted an investigation because it appeared that he believed him. Tom called Sergio, a colleague who worked for Rich, a mafia boss involved in women trafficking, from his home. After Tom told Sergio about his confrontation with Katya, Sergio made him an offer of $10,000 in exchange for selling her at auction to wealthy buyers. Tom agreed to take her to Sergio after she completed her college coursework and made good on his promise. After the call, Tom called Katya and said he was worried. He also offered to pick Linda up from her office and to pick Katya up from campus. Surprised at his sudden friendliness, Katya agreed. After class, she found Tom waiting for her and, not knowing what he was going to do, she got into his car. The following night, Jones called Harry to let him know that a mother had just reported her daughter missing to the authorities. Jones disclosed that Linda was a reporter in search of Katya, her daughter. Harry hurried to the school to look through the security cameras as soon as he learned that Katya was missing. Harry requested to see the day's worth of security camera footage from outside the college when he got to school. He watched Katya vanish from view after Tom picked her up. Harry went to find out where Katya was because he thought her stepfather was the reason she wasn't there. Tom was haughty and declined to respond to Harry's courteous inquiries. Harry beat Tom until he admitted to giving Katya to Sergio out of anger. Harry then dragged Tom into the car and told him where Sergio lived. Sergio, meantime, was stunned when Harry showed up at his house, so he threw Tom inside. Harry attacked Sergio without thinking twice and demanded to know where Katya was. Unable to take any more of Harry's suffering, Sergio admitted to Rich, a man who typically kept women for sale in a casino hotel in Las Vegas, that he had given Katya to. Sergio confessed that Rich would auction off the abducted girls to wealthy patrons, granting the highest bidder complete control over what he could do with the women. Harry imprisoned Sergio and Tom in a room before departing for Las Vegas, furious at their cruel treatment of Katya. He also got in touch with Jones, telling him about Katya's current kidnapping by a mafia boss and asking the detective to help her get back. Jones got information from Harry and then went to Linda to let her know where Katya was. Then she said goodbye to Harry and followed him to Las Vegas. Linda persuaded Jones to join the investigation and he reluctantly complied. Harry, who had just arrived at the casino hotel, was sent to meet Dale, the manager of the establishment, while pretending to be an auction participant. When Dale asked Harry how he found out about the auction, Harry told a falsehood, saying that Sergio told him about it because they were close friends with the mafia member. Perceiving that Harry did not pose a threat, Dale gave him a key to his room and told him about the virtual auction that was going to take place at 11 o'clock this evening. Harry called Jones, who had shown up at the Las Vegas police station while he was in his room. Harry asked Jones and other police units not to come to the casino hotel during the call because he hadn't seen Katya, who was under arrest. Sadly, Vanessa, the chief of police in Las Vegas, turned down Harry's offer and announced that she would be conducting a raid right away. Enraged, Harry emphasized that if they carried out the raid, the mafia would defend Katya and the other kidnapped girls. Harry declared that in order to find out where the girls who were being held captive were, he would feign to take part in the auction. Harry would alert the authorities when he completed his assignment, and they would then carry out the raid. Following her hearing the justification, Vanessa agreed to Harry's suggestion. Then at exactly 11 p.m., Harry went into a room to participate in the virtual auction, which featured a lot of little girls. Harry placed a bid for Katya as soon as he saw her photo. However, a wealthy Arab bidder made a higher offer, which compelled Harry to attempt raising his own. Harry was upset that he had lost the auction, so he called Jones right away to ask that the police be stationed at the casino hotel. He personally looked for Katya and the other girls Rich had imprisoned in the interim. As soon as they got the call, Jones and his group headed to the casino hotel. Katya was being held captive in Rich's headquarters, which is housed in a warehouse close to the airport. Harry found out when he confronted Dale about her whereabouts. Harry informed Jones about the warehouse right away before heading to save Katya. Harry pretended to be there to pick up Katya after winning her at a recent auction when he arrived at the warehouse. Sadly, Martin, Rich's right-hand man, refused to let Harry inside, saying he needed Rich's permission. Harry then said he had permission to bring his chosen girl, acting as though he was Rich's close friend. Martin took Harry at his word, allowing him to pick Katya with one of the goons. Katya accidentally addressed Harry as a coach when she saw him at the location, letting the goon know that they knew each other. Harry, forced into combat, defeated the man and quickly ran Katya and the other girls to safety in the underground area. 
Regretfully, Rich abruptly showed up to thwart Harry's scheme, instructing Martin to relocate every girl to the holding room while Rich spoke with him. Rich cornered the wrestling coach by leveling his pistol at Harry. Just as Rich was about to kill Harry, Jones and his police squad arrived on the scene and used gunfire to take out the mob boss. Katia was successfully rescued by Harry and the police, who also exposed the human trafficking network operated by the American Mafia. Harry, however, is relieved that Katia is secure and can now be with Linda, who has been waiting for her daughter to come home. In the last scene, Jones tells Harry that he needs Harry's assistance with a case. And that's it. What would you do if you were in Harry's shoes, dealing with such a devastating situation? Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.